What is up everybody? The Hunter GT with thehuntergt.com. That's right, go check out the website. Got the metal detecting forum and all sorts of rad stuff going on over there. Today we are rocking the Patriot yet again, 11 inch DD coil. We are up early to beat the heat. It is like six in the morning. A little too early for me. I'm not a fan of the morning. I like to wake up at like nine o'clock and stay up to like one in the morning, but uh, here I am. Got a buddy coming to hunt with me and uh, we're gonna see what we can get at this old park here. We have hit silvers and numerous wheat pennies here. This is where I got my silver quarter, mercury dime or two, and at least five or six wheat pennies. So first find of the day already about, oh geez, the full, the full length of my blade. So a good seven inches down. Check out that old twist a pepper. I guess then it's Dr. Pepper. But I've uh, never seen a yellow and red one. I'm guessing it's Dr. Pepper twist a pepper. So pretty bonkers. I don't know if there's a year on the side that I can make out, but I'm assuming this is 70s, 80s maybe. I mean old for a twist cap, I guess. So I don't know. Leave a comment uh, if you know what year they were making twist of pepper caps like this. All right guys, on to the next. Let's go find something a little bit uh, better than this. But of course it rang up good. It, I got a DD coil, so yeah, this rang up good. I'll dig this every time with the DD coil. <laughs> on to the next. All right, a little bit better. 89 quarter, first coin of the day right there. Pretty crusty too, so pretty deep. Um, yeah, as deep as the 44, silver quarter I dug maybe even deeper this one's about four or five inches I want to say the other one was about three four four five so yeah probably about just about the same distance here is an 89 quarter as a silver quarter was oh just I mean it was right here somewhere in this that little dry patch right there that yellow spot so bonkers I, it just metal detecting amazes me sometimes how one coin in one spot can be a newer coin by 50 years is basically at the same depth that a coin, you know, 50 years older. So, bonkers. Let's go find some more good stuff. Well, this was a deep one, guys. It was a good eight inches down there, for sure. At least seven, eight inches right there. I've never found one. Check it out, the Model T valve stem cover. So, I just Googled it just to make 100% sure. I've seen other diggers find them and, uh, so yeah, I'm almost positive that that's what it is. So definitely a Model T valve stem right there. Sweet. I've never found one. I've always wanted to find one. No idea what it's doing on the grass in the middle of the park right here. Maybe they, you know, parked the streets oh, about that far away. So I'm about, what, 30 feet away, 25, 30 feet away from the street. And, uh, yeah, this might have been old street or a little thing that they could roll up and park back in the day to, uh, just chill out and have a little picnic or whatever. So a little pull out or something. But anyways, there it is. Model T, I'm, I'm assuming a model of uh, Ford, but it could have been off another, I'm sure they all looked alike for, you know, Chrysler, Chevy or whatever. But yeah, there it is, guys. There it is. Super cheesed, super cheesed at that one. That is as good as a silver coin to me. I am really thrilled to have that. All right, on to the next. Let's go find some more. My buddy just found a Rosie, a silver dime, Roosevelt dime. So we are off to an excellent start today. About three inches. Oh, that's not it. It's over here. There it is. Might have a trash target. Yeah, three inches there too. I think there's a target here and one here as well. So let's find out if we got a, a coin here being uh, separated by something else right next to it, it looks like. All right, turned out to be a crusty zinc, actually. Um, zinc sometimes bounce around a little bit, but this one was up clear into the dime range. I've already re-swept and uh, checked the hole, nothing else. So just one of those strange zinc pennies that every once in a while they'll do that. They'll uh, show up as a good coin, and uh, there it is. All right, on to the next. All right, guys, another three-inch signal or so. 
82, 83. The Patriot does like to round off two to three to four inch objects at three inches, so. That's why you see me a lot of the time pinpointing at three inches. I think that's what it's calibrated at is three, four, five inches is gonna show up as three. And then the deeper stuff usually shows up six, seven, eight. You know, it likes to kind of round it off, I think. But let's see what this is, hopefully a quarter. All right, clad quarter it was, 1974. Right there, about three inches down, just like it said it was. Let's go find some more quarters. All right, this one's pretty bouncy, but it's bouncing all in the high range. Dime, quarter, 50 cents, dime, quarter mostly. We're definitely going to dig it. Five inches, it says. Anything that bounces just in the high range like that, I definitely dig it. Um, unless I circle it and it totally cuts off at like half the circle or something. But this one, as I circled it, it's doing the same thing each time. So uh, bouncing around. Let's find out. All right. It was just a regular old copper penny. I can't even make out the year. I've scrubbed the heck out of it and I just, it's real crusty. So, but it's got the memorial on the back. And look at my fingers, guys. They are turning purple, like a purple black. Cause look around here. They are like boysenberries or blackberries or I don't know what the hell it is, but coming off this big tree here. Look at all those blackberries. I don't know if they're coming in on camera. But I'm pretty sure they are right there on the ground. You can see all the little black dots everywhere. Let me pick one up here. Let's find out what, what are these. Come on guys, tell me on camera. I don't know my little berries and fruits. So, there it is. What are these? Are they edible? Because boy, they look delicious. So, there they are next to the penny. <laughs> and they're making my hands. Look at that. They turn purple like instantly. Boy, I'm going to look like a clown here before I go. Oh, these bugs are killing me. I got bug spray on and they're just like, yeah, whatever. We laugh at your bug spray, Hunter GT. Anyways, there's a nickel and a dime, both clad. 98 on the nickel, 2000 and something on the dime here. 2006 it looks like. Both in the same hole. Found the nickel first, and uh, penny popped up afterwards. I got back up, checked the hole, and there it was. So about three, four inches deep. Let's go find some more. Well, it's an official coin spill because I went back over it with the coil yet again. And there's still a quarter up in that bad boy, a state's quarter. It is pretty crusty. Definitely a state's quarter. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make out the year 2001 on that one. I can't tell what state it is. It's in pretty bad shape. So, anyways, another quarter. Let's go find some more of those. All right, guys, got a 67 dime right there. Only a couple years off from silver. Wasn't very deep either, about, oh, three inches down right there is what it pinpointed at. Pretty solid signal. There it is. Let's go find some more. Let's find something a little bit older. Well, I didn't find it by the trash can. I'm standing by the trash can to throw it away, but I don't know. It's got like little black marks on each end of this copper piece. I don't know, some sort of crack pipe or something? I don't know. What is this, guys? I'm throwing it away. I don't want no kid to find it just in case it is. Some nasty. It's got dirt filled all the way through, but yuck. Grody. Alright, guys. Deepest wheat penny I've ever dug, I think. Just about. My whole pinpointer goes in there all the way down in, so it's a good 8 inches easily. Not that deepest I've ever dug. I've dug a 9, 10 inch or 2, but pretty deep. 19... 19 on that wheat penny right there. I rubbed it with some spit. <laughs> I tried to be real gentle with it. I don't want to scratch it up too much or anything, but 1919. Definitely a wheat penny. Pretty crusty one. Yep, super deep in there. I mean, look at down in there. Rabbit's going to jump out of there any minute. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. All right, get an ID in here. Pretty solid 73. Should be a dime. Or a penny. Three inches. Oh boy, these three inches, my goodness. Alright guys, check this one out. Got like a propeller looking, I think it's a pendant off a necklace maybe or something, a keychain, I don't know. 
but it looks like a propeller, probably a boat enthusiast who uh, dropped that. Pretty cool. It's got a little hole right in the top there. Let me know if you have a different opinion in the comment section. I could be totally off, but that's what I'm going with. I think it's a propeller for a boat enthusiast or something like that for a keychain or a necklace, something like that. Rang up as a penny, so appears to be copper the way it's green patina on it. Yep. Pretty cool, pretty cool.